Hello. Uh, just a quick guide how to connect your Canon camera with the OBS Studio. Um, first off, you open your browser. You need the software, the Canon Utility software. And you choose one of them here. I choose the USA Inc. one. Um, then you put here in what type of camera you have. I have a AOS ADD. Then this comes up. Here you can select your operating system. Windows is detected. Here's Windows 11, the version. And um, yeah, you should use the second one. The first one, I think it's a paid version, so yeah, use this link. It does everything you need. I already downloaded it, so and here is this tool, the EOS utility software. You open it, and then you need to connect it with your computer. So the big part goes in the computer, the little part in the camera. And if you have done that, you turn the camera on, and this comes up. And then you press remote shooting. Then this comes up. And here you press live view shoot here on the bottom. And here's your camera screen. You uh, should leave the window open because OBS needs to see this. Otherwise you have just your desktop. Okay, then you open the OBS Studio. Bit slow my computer. And here you add your source. And we do that by going on the bottom, clicking on this plus button, then window capture. You can write your camera in here or whatever. Click OK and then window select remove live view window. And here is your camera. You can uncheck these things or leave it or whatever. Press OK. And now we adjust the screen. And by doing that, you use the Alt key on the keyboard, and with the mouse, you crop your picture uh, in the size you want it. Yeah, I'm not good in this. Sorry, guys. Try my best. <laughs> anyway. If you have done this, then you want to have a big, big picture. So you release the Alt key and just stretch the whole picture out. And I did that wrong too, so just do it your way. Yeah, and that's actually it. Now you can uh, get rid of this thing here in the middle this square box and you do that by clicking on the software again on the AOS software and here on the bottom this yellow button get rid of it yeah that's it thanks for watching hope it helped